and then we can have answer returns say we want we want this event to be where the player accepts the quest so maybe we can um, we can even remove this from here and have it be a part of a later aspect of the the conversation so maybe the only only time the player get, is given the option to accept a quest is if they did some follow-up information so they asked another question but instead they could just decline right there and then they can uh, then they can accept the quest here and you can even loop it back too you can have it go you can have it go to you can have it go to go back to um, let's say let's say info 02 and we'll say this loads the give zero event so we just created a loop here we just created a loop so this uh this will send us back to this event if the player chooses this option the answer go to so that's how pretty much you can set up a conversation there's a lot you can do you can set up you can set up uh, additional participants you can even have the player be one of the participants say if you uh, you wanted the player to say something in addition if you wanted to just create pure interaction where the player has to actually literally say something then you can set it up that way you can you can do a lot with this um, you can have a con you can have several events several go to's several lines from the actors and this line here will simply just uh, it'll simply just repeat itself so essentially what you're doing is you're creating a repeat line if unless you want to number it and add a new value to it in the NVO file so that's a there's a bit of work you would have to do is set set it up here set up what's going to be stated and note that each each call is one is one line so you can make this very long or very short depending on how how you want to go about this so that's the, that's the basis of how the NCO files work. You have your conversation and every every conversation has to have a name and don't bother with this it's not implemented so just set it to zero and keep it there. So notice that you have to have you have to have these three um, parameters. So you got the conversation, you have the conversation name and then you have zero. So when you're making your custom NCO file, you need to consider that. Um, I'm not really going to save these modifications here. I'm just going to keep it the way I originally had it. Should be um, should be fine. Yeah. So that's how I originally had it. I was just covering what you can do with an NCO file. So I'm just going to keep this uh, this basic example here for fun, and I'm going to show this off. So when we select Alessandro, we have a quest giver, and the script is designed to initiate an NCO file, and you can use. And as I described before, that NCO file in the conversations folder is what's going to drive when a player accepts a quest. So you can have it where a quest is never given if you don't want to have a quest quest in the quest giver script so it's it's possible to completely avoid having a return value of 1 because the moment you send a return value of 1 on a player select option you're creating a quest and that quest is defined down here in the quest uh, quest file and it's an NQD file that's located in the quest folder so 
It's located here. And it's just a text file with a .nqd at the end of it. And it has to be placed in your quest folder. So let's just close a lot of that out. I got a lot of these open here. And your quest file descriptions, you have short and long descriptions, and that's it. That'll determine how it appears when it's given. All right, so I talked about this probably quite a bit. Um, I will go over um, the interior map as well. Let's open that up too. Um, so when I go in here, press N, this is using the quest ender actor talk script to end the quest. So there's two different scripts. There's a quest giver and then there's a quest ender. So if you want you you want the quest to conclude through an actor, then you want to you want to create create the actor on your map and embrace and assign this quest ender script to that actor. And then press shift C to make sure that the file name matches the quest that you want to conclude. There are three separate uh, separate lines for the ender. So notice that he loads a different NCO file. This is for the Bigfoot ender conversation. So there, inside this uh, conversation file there are three separate conversation types that are checked. You have what happens if the player talks to Joseph without having ever received the quest. And in this case I just give a one-liner and it's a it's no quest and it's coming from the Joseph cast ID and what happens if the player has the quest then we're going to end the quest so we're gonna we're going to set up an ending and run this conversation and then give the player the option to finalize the ending of the quest so you have to have thus another answer answer return in your NCO. This also has its own NCP and for the camera. So if you want to so when you set up the camera, every conversation needs to have some sort of camera set up to it or else it's going to be a little weird. Okay, so we also have ended quest. So what happens when the quest ends after after it's already ended? So if the, the player already accepted the ending of the quest from this answer return, the quest this uh, the quest that matches uh, is is the uh, so again we're in the quest here so it's a it's the name up here matches the name here and then you're you're setting up. How that quest looks and how much how much experience it gives when it concludes. So, when the player accepts this uh, in this particular example, when the player accepts that this quest has ended, then according to this file, they will be given 10,000 experience. So that's how you set up the amount of experience for that's worth. And then this image, this TGA file, will load. This TGA file is uh, it's simply a 32 by 32 image. It's a TGA image. And I think I already talked about short and long description. So you have your short description, your long description, and these have to be um, these have to be defined in an NLS file. NLS file right here. They have to be defined here. So here's short description for short description Bigfoot long description for long description who gives a shit about Bigfoot and that's pretty much how it goes I'm gonna show this off to explain um, more in-game um, what uh, what it's doing 